Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. So today we will learn how to use activity indicator. So uh, when I press start, the label turns to firing up server and we cannot touch the buttons. So now it says already and we can stop it. So now if I start again, we, uh, so basically what I'm doing is I'm uh, disabling user interaction with the iPhone for five seconds. Okay, so that's what you want, right? Whenever activity indicator is running, you don't allow user to interact with your iPhone. So let's get started. So first of all, on the main node storyboard, I will drag and drop two buttons. So I'll just drop one button and change name of the other one. So let's make this big, somewhat big. And this one we will say start. And let's make it look good so that we like pressing it, okay? This looks bad. Uh, let's give it a text color of white and a background color of, let's say, gray, okay? And we will just duplicate this and put it at the bottom. We can do this, not in the center. And we need a label as well. So let's do label on the top. And we can just increase this one as well. And this will be centrally aligned. Okay, so let's give some constraints. So we will say like 10 from top and uh, 10 from left and 10 from right and a fixed height of 80. 80 is good. And this will be, I guess text is okay. Let's drop it to 15 and say hit start. And this will have constraints as well. So 10 from top, 10 from left and from right and let's give a fixed height of uh, let's say 50 and let's do the same for this so we will say 10 from top 10 from left 10 from right and a fixed height of 40 hit enter so oh these are different sizes doesn't matter so let this say stop okay so now we need to take the outlets and I'll increase the font size to YouTube so that you guys can see it this is my display label i'll say display lbl and for buttons we create actions so for start we will say start pressed and action and this will be of type ui button and hit connect and let's do same thing for the stop i will say stop pressed and action and of type UI button. So let's get started. First, I'll show you how to create simple uh, activity indicator and then we will do that uh, interaction thing. So first say variable activity indicator and this will be of type UI activity indicator view and open close brackets and under view did load, we will set up our activity indicator. So activity indicator dot center is equal to self dot view dot center then we need to say activity indicator dot hides when stopped so whenever we stop the activity indicator it should hide so this will be true now we need to give it a style so activity indicator dot activity indicator view style is equal to dot and enum so i'll say gray and uh, you can play around with the types so self dot view dot add sub view and here goes our activity indicator and so okay let's uh, start animating so for activity indicator to start we just say activity indicator dot start animating oh it stop start animating and for stop we say activity indicator dot stop animating and let's run the application and see how it looks so this is my previous app and this is iPhone 8. So don't worry about that. I'll just close that one if I can. So I'll just, okay, it works. So the iPhone X is loading the beautiful iPhone X and here it starts. So I'll hit start and activity indicator starts and I'll say stop, it stops, start, stop, start, stop. But what we need to do is whenever we start the activity, activity indicator, like whenever you are fetching data from JSON or like doing something, something you are setting up the ui or something you show this activity indicator okay so till then you don't want user to click around and mess with your setup okay so we disable user from interacting with our application 
So let's get started. So first of all, we will change the label to uh, when start is pressed, we will say display label dot text is equal to firing up server and generating UI and now we will start the uh, now we will disable the interaction so I will say UI application dot shared dot ignore we want this begin ignore interaction events and I will keep this running for five seconds so I will say timer dot we want timer dot scheduled timer with inter uh, with time interval I'll say five seconds repeats false make sure you type false otherwise it will keep on repeating and blocks will be timer and here we will say we will now disable it so UI application dot shared dot end ignoring interaction events and now we'll change the text label to say that we are good to go so good to go and so it works and so when the user stops let's change the display label to say I am stopped okay so cool uh, let's run the application for one last time and see how it works so the application is loading and if I hit start I cannot press stop you can see that okay so it says firing up server and generating UI and now it says good to go and I'll say stop so what you guys want to do is whenever uh, the interaction the your work is complete you will just take this activity indicator dot stop animating and like just cut it and paste it under this part when you end ignore interaction events so basically when I run this application now I forgot the self thing anyways when I run the application now so basically what will happen is whenever the activity uh, whenever everything is done so whenever we start the interaction with the screen we stop the activity indicator as well so basically in real application you don't need a stop button I need a stop button to show you guys that how can we stop the activity indicator cool right so thank you guys for watching if you have any questions post them in comments don't forget to like my video and please subscribe for future videos bye bye